tip number four, know how you inspire. As a marketer, inspiration is one of your biggest weapons. Inspiration and data are probably your strongest weapons. You can't tell your boss what to do. You can't tell your colleagues what to do. These days, you can't even tell your team what to do if you want to hang on to your best ones. But provided uh, you yourself are inspired first, you can inspire other people to follow you. Inspiration as a marketer can come from many different sources. Some people are inspired by really knowing their stuff, which is very important. Some, uh, and that's about sort of both customers and products, external and internal. Some are inspired by beating the competition. Some by peer recognition. Some by uh, building their team. Some by having a dream for the brand. Whatever it is, to follow you, people need to see that flicker of inspiration in your eyes. Mobilizing yourself and knowing your stuff, knowing how you inspire and aiming high. Okay? The most successful uh, marketers in our study were ambitious. Okay? Those together explained a quarter of the explicable variation in their business impact and 34% of the variation in their career success. Now, inspiration is contagious. 20 years ago, the electronics firm LG had a tiny US business, and they put in a finance guy called Simon Kang. He looks like a finance guy, does he not? Okay. And they assumed he'd struggle like all his predecessors. But like Jim Farley at Ford, Simon had a very simple dream. He wanted to see the LG logo on Times Square next to all the other grown-up brands. He was inspired by this idea. His inspiration infected his team to go the extra mile. It also influenced his colleagues and bosses in Korea to make new, more creative products for the US market. And we're not talking rocket science. We're talking colored fridges, all right? But that inspiration, and it helped them sell into the trade as well. So that very simple dream just helped him build the platform for LG's huge US business today. But to inspire people, you must be inspired first. That's the only prerequisite. So think about what inspires you. Are you passionate about your customers, your products, your brand, your team? If you don't have something that inspires you today, find it. So, summary. Peter Drucker was right. Companies really do succeed by profitably, keyword profitably, meeting customers' needs better than the competition. That means maximizing the value creation zone or V-zone, which is the overlap between your customers' needs and your company's needs. Second, we now know that having a CMO in the top team and an international marketing department do help companies become more customer-focused and do help them increase their short and long-term business performance. However, most marketers have only limited influence and career success because of the three gaps, the trust gap, the power gap, and the skills gap. None of those gaps is going to go away. Okay? Those are all long-term gaps. If anything, the skills gap is getting worse. The solution is for more marketers to do what the effective and successful minority of our senior marketers did. These are the 12 powers of a marketing leader. They're about mobilizing your boss, your colleagues, your team, and yourself. Thank you.